Hi guys, this is Mrs. Lemos. I wanted to just share with you what you're going to be doing today. Um, everything that you're going to do is going to be in your writing journal and you're going to take a picture of it and send it to me. Okay. Just make sure that you understand that everything that you, uh, everything has uh, titles to it and you have to put it in your table of contents right here. Okay. And I'll take a picture of this, uh, adding this to your table of contents. Your page numbers may not match mine because you have added some other things in there and I'm okay with that. So long as you are adding um, my assignments, the ones that are required that are in there. So then um, what we're gonna do is the first thing that we're gonna do, yesterday you were reading seventh grade, okay? And you were doing a discussion. And then from there, I asked you, um, well, for today, you're going to read it again. Um, actually, not read it, but you're just going to use a, uh, some of the sentences there. We're going to work on vocabulary. And so your next page is going to be, in mine, is page six, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to copy the title. You're going to copy this, the instructions, the example, Okay, you don't have to write what's in the post-it notes right there, okay? And you don't have to write what's in there. So what you're basically going to do with these words, I already made one for you as an example. You're writing that one down, okay? And one of the vocabulary words that are in your story is scowl. And so you're going to write the definition, but I would highly recommend that you go into the story and look for the word scowl and see what it means in the story so you can mas match the best definition to that meaning. Then from there, you're going to tell me the part of speech. The part of speech, it's in your writing L and B. It is uh, what the word means. Exact, like, for example, is it a noun, verb, adjective, adverb, pronoun? You're going to identify it. And in this case, I put a noun and a verb because when it's used in past tense, it's a verb. So here's the original sentence that I found in the PDF. He scowled and let his upper lip quiver. Then the second one, the last one, I want you to make a sentence with that word, the way it's used in the story. Her scowl, and I'm using it as a noun, made the situation worse. Then you're going to be looking for... Um, you're going to be doing the same thing like I did here where the words lingered, quiver, waddled, trudged, and ferocity. Now, I want you to use your best handwriting. We need to practice our best handwriting, and I will be um, keeping up on that. Make sure that you skip lines between each word, okay, so that it's nice and neat. Uh, the last thing, you're going to turn to your next page, and all I'm going to ask you to do is just copy what you see. So last week I had you guys identify subjects and pred predicates in your sentences, and I think you were having a hard time doing that. So um, you, you're going to copy the whole thing except for this post-it note. You're going to title it Subjects and Predicates, and remember all titles are capitalized, okay, except for the small words like the word and. So it says here, identify subjects and predicates in a simple sentence. Um, N means noun, B means verb. And so what I did here to this sentence, the horse likes to eat hay. I went ahead and drew a line in between the subject and the predicate. And remember, subjects is who we're talking about. Predicate is what the subject is doing. So I underlined the subject once, the horse, then identified the, the the subject that we're talking about, the specific subject is horse, and that's a noun. Likes to eat hay is what the horse did, so that is called the predicate. But I did highlight the word likes, and I identified it as a verb for be. You're going to do that to these two other sentences. So again, all you're going to do is just copy what I wrote here not your not the sticky note and again your page number might be a little bit different than mine once you are done you take a picture of both pages well yeah you're going to take a picture of both pages and then you're going to upload it to um schoology as a pdf 
take a good do not send me i don't want to i don't want you to send me a link i want you to send me a picture okay and that's it if you have any questions guys visit me on this zoom meeting where i can help you and support you as best as i can have a great weekend